Uh, good afternoon, dear Toastmasters. I am Sushi Bhushan Kumar, born and brought up in Patna, Bihar, and I did my schooling from there. After completing my school, I went to I moved to Bangalore to pursue my graduation. Then later on, I got placed in this high esteemed organization just after completing my graduation. And since then, I'm here working currently in the role of engineering manager. Couple of years back, I got married, and since then, I'm living here with my lovely wife. But friends, if you ask me what kind of person I am, then I would say I'm neither extrovert nor an introvert. There is special kind of word that has been developed to address confused people like us, and that's an ambivert. Ambivert in the sense that people like us are ready to go to any kind of party, social gathering, or meeting with new people. But we will not be the first person to approach to any strangers. Probably because of many of the apprehensions going through our mind, maybe, that stops us from breaking the ice. And unfortunately, today I'm standing here to break the ice with my icebreaker session. So apart from this friend, just like any other people who has obsession with something or the other, somebody has obsession of music, somebody is obsessed with food, somebody is obsessed with sports and what not. Just like that, I too have an obsession. And that obsession is with word zero. Probably I see this obsession maybe due to the fact that I was born and brought up in I, I was born in a place where the great mathematician the Aryabhatta was born needless to say the inventor of word zero but can anyone sitting over here tell me what this obsession is all about I mean how is it possible anyone okay so let me explain how is it happening to me whatever I do Wherever I go, this word zero chase me exactly the way that puppy of advertisement, uh, that puppy in the advertisement of Hutch used to follow his master, just like that. It keeps on haunting me all the day long. These ad often makes me nostalgic. But yes, so let me explain how is it happening in my day to day life. Let us start from office only. Here, whatever work we do, whatever deliverables that are assigned to us, our boss just want to have zero error in that. <laughs> and not just that, my dear friend, we, whatever money we earn by doing this so-called zero error work, we just want to pay zero tax over it. <laughs> so let us move out of this office. I am a little bit of fitness freak kind of person who loves going to gym. There, every day, I just pray for zero fat in my tummy. It may sound uh, funny to few people, but this is the fact and this is my obsession, my dear friends. I can't help it. After I return from gym, I go back to my place where I live and there I just want to have zero pollution environment to live a healthy life. Not just this, I live in a rented flat and every time when I pay rent to my Landlord, I just keep on thinking how to bring the rent of this flat to zero amount. <laughs> but unfortunately, I am left up with only two options. Number one, either to buy a flat, or number two, to find a suitable owner who is ready to afford to give his flat on a rent of zero cost to me. Well, at this point of time, it seems to be very much difficult for me. But again, this is one of my obsessions with which I am struggling, struggling with. Now, who, who among us sitting over here won't like to get one zero added to their salary slip at the end of each appraisal cycle? I know it might sound horrendous to our HR sir, <laughs> but, but that is a fact, another kind of obsession which probably all of us might be dealing with. So at last, I would, li uh, I would like to conclude my speech by an inspiring quote from none other but the father of our nation and it goes like if you place yourself into zero then your power becomes invincible and that's indeed my dear friend what I think because it's such a mighty number that it can either make you or can break you in any in any point of time so my advice would be to get yourself aligned with it and choose your course of action very careful because in no time you're uh, path 
of life or your journey of life can get labeled wow yes. so thank you my dear friends i think my time is up i have zero time left so thank you <laughs>